Hi, I'm Rachel Lovell with Rachel Lovell Astrology and today I'm going to be talking about Saturn through the 12 houses. Saturn takes about 29.5 years to orbit the Sun. That's about 2.5 years in each house. Um, Saturn is associated with Kronos and in ancient astrology Saturn is associated with both Aquarius and Capricorn. Saturn represents restriction, obstacles, limitations, oppositions. Um, in the zodiac, Saturn is across from Leo and Cancer, represented by the sun and the moon, and are the luminaries. Um, Saturn is discipline, depression, decay, death. Um, I think I said obstacles and blockages, big time blockages. <laughs> and he is the lord of karma. Saturn is also the timekeeper, and uh, that's what Kronos was, the god of time. Um, he is our greatest teacher. Saturn, I would like to invite you to look at Saturn as a teacher, as opposed to what he gets a bad rap for. Um, his transits tend to be quite difficult, especially on the angles um, and the eighth house, but um, the transits they do tend to be hard, but I really want to invite you to look at Saturn as one of the greatest teachers that we have, one of the biggest soul's evolution that you're going to experience. Saturn, um, Saturn builds brand new foundations. Saturn leaves many gifts at the end um, of his transit, at least from my experience and what I've, from what I've seen. Um, you know, wherever Saturn's transiting, um, whether it be in friendships, money, um, uh, joint finance, or um, higher education, you know, whichever house he's going in, if there are blocks or if there are if there are holes in these situations, in these themes of your life, Saturn comes in and he forces a spotlight on it and he forces you to re restructure these areas of your life. So if he goes into the house of friendships and you have, um, you know, friendships that are no longer serving you, you're probably going to um, see the end to those friendships or and, and, and get new friendships, friendships that, um, that are healthy for you and that um, help you. Uh, same with relationships, same thing. Um, if he goes into the house of finance or joint finance and, and you know, this area needs mad restructuring, by the end of that transit, you're going to be in a completely new place where it comes to finances and joint finance. Um, so I, I really, when I look at Saturn, I look at him like, not just the teacher, not just, and not the favorite teacher, like not the grade two teacher that you go in, he's just like rainbows and butterflies and you know, you, you just love being in his class. It's not that teacher, no, no. He is the college professor that you go in, it's very serious. It's a very serious tone. And you know, there's no goofing around in the class. But when you finish that class, when you leave, you have a brand new understanding that is bulletproof, solid foundation on whatever it is that you are learning from him. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go through all of the houses and um, this is my first series. I was really drawn to do Saturn. I'm very drawn to Saturn. Um, the biggest changes in my life have come through my Saturn transits. They have been you know, they've restructured me as a person and, you know, he is the Lord of Karma and, you know, paying back Karma is, um, it, it's not easy, but there's freedom in that. You know, there is so much freedom in, in paying off Karma and, and paying our dues and, um, and building solid foundations in all areas of our life. So, you know, I, I find Saturn or I think of Saturn as a blessing. Um, I'm sure he's not done with me. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm going to uh, go ahead and go through the 12 houses. If you don't know what house Saturn is, you're going to go by your rising sign 
and you can find that on astro-seek.com you can go ahead and find your rising sign and you know if you drop a comment below i can let you know which house uh, saturn is transiting in your chart and uh that's it have a wonderful day Saturn through the 10th house. Uh, this again is uh, angular house. So the angular houses uh, typically pack a punch. Um, the first house being self, seventh house being other relationships, partnerships, fourth house being home and family, and the 10th house, which we'll be speaking about, is about career. Um, it's at the midheaven, so it's the highest part of your chart. It's uh, where you're most visible. It really is to do with uh, your career, your actions, your achievements in the world, your reputation, your public reputation, your public status, how you're seen, you know, what your legacy is, what you're leaving behind. Um, it's a big spotlight on that and on you. Um, so we're looking at chosen profession, um, a career as opposed to a job. So it, it's what, you know, what you sp want to spend your life doing. It's your, it's your life purpose. Um, which doesn't necessarily have to be a job. Your life purpose most definitely can be um, as a mother or father, um, a caregiver. I, you know, it, it, you don't necessarily have to be. It's, it's what you are known for in this world. It's the highest point, your public life, the legacy, um, your worldly ambitions, um, your rank, fame is put in this house, and authority figures. So at this time, um, hard work, hard work that you have put into your job, you will be reaping the rewards from that. Um, you know, if you've been at a job for many years and you've been working really diligently, um, when Saturn transits the 10th house, you will see the fruits from your labor. Um, if you were in the wrong job, um, when Saturn enters the 10th house, you may feel pressure um, I've seen this firsthand um, so it's a lot of pressure around the workplace um, because the person was at the wrong job and you know it continued through the transit and at the very end of the transit boom she moved she moved jobs so and into something that she's you know very happy with now so um, you know Saturn wants us to you know to live our most authentic life I believe and I think that it's, um, you know, he's the Lord of Karma and he kind of shakes us out of things that aren't working for us anymore. So if, yeah, if, if you're in the wrong, on the wrong path, um, then, you know, you, you will be redirected. If you're in a path and you've maybe lost your luster for it, but, you know, you really love your job, maybe you'll be reinvigorated. You're going to start taking it seriously. You know, you're going to go back to, to being structured and serious about work. Um... Yeah, it's, um, you know, change of career, increase in responsibility, these sorts of things are definitely um, possible. Um, about reputation and, and um, public status. Now, if potentially you are, you know, you're known for something and it's not authentic to who you are, like maybe you're a YouTube influencer or a... Instagram influencer and you know it's um, you, you're not living your authentic life um, you know you could be exposed you could be it could be shown that you know this is uh, big to redirect you you know it's Lord of Karma it's, it's redirecting you to where you're supposed to be and what you're supposed to be doing um, so good or bad too with that because um, you also might blow up right you may be Maybe you've been working on your Instagram and, and this stuff for ages and then all of a sudden Saturn hits the 10th house and boom, right? You get your glow up. I love that word, glow up, those words. <laughs> it's cute. Um, you may find yourself in a situation where you may get a new boss and your boss may be very Saturnian in nature. Um, it may be a, become a strict working environment, it may be uncomfortable for you. Um, you might enjoy it. It might change the whole dynamic of the workplace that you're at. Um, yeah, you may become uneasy with the job. If it's the wrong job, you're going to become uneasy. Um, you, it's because you're becoming serious and responsible about your legacy, 
what mark you want to leave in the world. These are thoughts that you're going to have. Um, you know, who am I and what do I want to be known for when I leave? Um, and this is coming right after the ninth house, right? And the ninth house is the, is the house of God and higher education and uh, politics and, and whatnot. But uh, a lot of the time people are using that house. It'll be a house where they're, you know, educating and learning more and upgrading. And then when they come into the 10th house, they boom, right? Right into it. Um, maybe like a, a job, uh, a promotion, right? A big promotion or maybe getting that job that you've always dreamed of. If you've gone back in the ninth, in the ninth house, you've gone and got your master's degree and by the time you get to the 10th house, boom, you know, you're, you're in that position that you've always dreamed of. So, you know, Saturn is, he's strict, he's stern, he's that taskmaster, but, um, but as long as things are in line with your destiny and your your higher consciousness, your higher self, then I, you know, more than likely it's going to be a transit of hard work, um, discipline, um, but great enjoyment. Um, the spotlight's on you, right? Like the spotlight's on you. Um, I don't think there's too much more that I have to say about this house. Um, if Saturn's transiting your 10th house, bless you and good luck. We'll see you at the top.